Yeah, well, to any time, yeah, to me, high fat, high carb is the worst combination for every outcome. You'd mentioned cardiometabolic with regards to adverse changes in lipoprotein profile. Absolutely, I agree with that. But high carb and high fat, just bringing it back to the fat cell, you are now giving it a stimulus of insulin, which is telling the fat cell to get big. And the fat cell wants to get big most easily just by pulling in fat which if you're eating fat, it's going to pull in very happily, but it won't if insulin's low. And so, you know, that's why you can sort of pick which variable you're going to play around with. Not that you've asked this, but then if, having touched on what causes the growth of the fat cell, naturally it begs the question, well, what shrinks the fat cell? Well, you look at those two levers, the, uh, the high insulin and the high calorie, you have to pick one. My only worry is as much as people are so ardently defending the caloric view, which they have for a century now, um, if you just cut calories without addressing someone's underlying high insulin, you're going to make them hungry very quickly. And that's one of the reasons why I speak to the insulin side as much as I acknowledge the calorie side. I think that is a step to take. It just shouldn't be the first step. What I like to see as the first step is control your insulin. Okay, how do I do that? Well, reduce your consumption of refined carbs. So make sure you're getting a lot of good protein and fat and then fruits and vegetables, that's going to help your insulin come down. Don't worry about your calories yet. We'll get there later. And just by focusing on the lowering insulin aspect, you have the metabolic advantages come into place, which is metabolic rate goes up, calorie wasting through ketone excretion goes up. And so you're going to start to lose weight. And then if you get, when you get to that next sort of plateau, all right, now we can look at that calorie side because with lower insulin, your brain is more accustomed to using ketones now and you're more accustomed to you mobilizing fat, you have more mitochondria because you've been burning more fat with low insulin, now you can start cutting calories and not have to worry about hunger kicking you out.